Hey, what is up, guys? It's Rody here. Welcome to our Pokemon Leaf Green Wedlock series, episode 26. And in the last episode, we went through Victory Road and we did a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of grinding. As you can see from our party, everyone is leveled up to level 60, except Drake with level 61 because we needed him a little bit extra while we went through everything. But why don't we go through the team just for one more checkup? We have Drake over here chilling at level 61 with, hold on a sec, Ice Beam, there we go, Ice Beam, Psychic Strength, and Surf. We have Kurama level 60 with Flamethrower, Will-O-Wisp, Fire Blast, and Confuse Ray. We have E-Money the Diglett chilling over here with Earthquake, Dig, Mud Slap, and Slash. Pear level 60 with Razor Leaf, Acid, Stun Spore, and Growth. Coin level 60 with Slash, Bite, Fake Out, and Aerial Ace. And Spark Plug level 60 over here with Shockwave, Thunder, Thunder Wave, and Quick Attack. So, like I said before, there has been a massive change in levels. Everyone is level 60. No one died during the grinding, which is extremely good. But as you can see, we have to stock up on a few of our healing items. But not only that, if you go up to here, we have five rare candies we haven't used. So, I know Drake is level 61 and everyone else is level 60. But as I'm looking through um, the teams, because, well, the people we have to verse is, first off is an ice type, ice water. We're going to be using spark plug and coin for that. Next is fighting, but it's rock fighting as well, so we're going to use Drake and Kurama. That's probably the one I'm most scared about. Then we have Agatha, which is Ghost Art, which we're going to be using Coin and Spark Plug again, because Shadow Balls don't, Shadow Boys, <laughs> Shadow Balls don't affect Coin. Then we've got Lance, so we're going to be using Drake on that. And then we're going to be using, against the Elite, uh, well, our rival Chris, Drake and Kurama as well. That's the plan anyway. So E-Money and Pear aren't going to be getting much use. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to be giving one, two three, four, and then and the extra one to Drake, because Drake is going to be the one that we're going to be relying on the most. So, we're going to learn Swagger. Should we learn Swagger? I think the moveset Slash, Bite, Fake Out, and Aerial Ace is quite good, considering. And I don't think we'll need to, so stop trying to teach Swagger. Yeah, we don't need Swagger. We got another Rare Candy on Spark Plug. Spark Plug and Coin took forever to train up, and when I say forever, I mean five ever. That's how crazy it was. Drake, level 62, and level 63, because... Um, Chris's Charizard is level 63. Well, that's what I think. That's what I've been reading. So, 63, in a wedlock, we're actually right on par. So, at the start, it might seem like we're quite over-leveled, but trust me, that is not the case as we get on later on. So, why don't we go through and sell all the stuff we need to, buy all the things we need to before. So, no, I don't mean to buy, I mean to sell, because we have a lot of things. We Do we need Moonstones? Oh, we can't sell Moonstones. We do not need Escape Ropes. We have two Escape Ropes. We do not need those. Hyper Potions, we need those. Ethers, yes. Ice Heals, yes. Burn Heals, yes. Water Stone, we do not need Water Stones. Because if we lose here, this is where the um, the run ends. If we black out, we, it, well, that's it. I mean, what else can we do? We can technically grab stuff from our box and keep training up, but I'd much rather start the LP straight from then. But as you can see, hand it over Thunderstone, Fresh Water, we'll keep those Full Heals, keep those Firestone. Don't need any of these stones. Max Potion, we need that. Full Restore, yes. Max Revive, definitely do not. Because we can't revive anyone. So, we have all that stuff we can buy now. We don't have a lot of money considering, but we do need to buy some Full Restores. And I'm thinking 9 Full Restores is going to be enough. And let me just check one thing. We, does anyone in our party have HP over 200? Well, Drake does. So, we might be needing Max Potions, especially since Drake is... um the one we're going to be relying on the most. So why don't we go and pick up seven of those and the rest in full restores and can we just spend a little bit of extra money that we have on anything? We can buy one more max. Okay, that, I think we're set. I'm really scared actually because this is the first wedlock I've ever actually done or attempted and I'm actually extremely shaky. So we're going to be letting off a spark plug and coin. So let's hope this does well. Do you have anything to say? From here on, you'll face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. I'm really nervous, guys. Oh, well, let's go for it. Okay. We can't go back now. We can't go back. Okay. So we're going to be versing... I think her name's like Lori Lee or something like that. Something weird. Lorelei? I don't know. But we have to be versing her. And I just hope everything works out. Okay. How are you going? Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lori Lee. <laughs> is it Lori Lee or am I just reading it really stupid? I'm just going to call you Lori Lee. Lori Lee of the Elite Four. Lorelei. That's it. What am I doing? 
Uh, no one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon uh, will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha ha ha, are you ready? Hopefully you don't have any sheer cold or anything, but I'm extremely scared. Oh goodness. <sighs> Lorelei. I don't know why I called you Laura Lee. What type of thing is Laurie Lee? But Laura, Laura, I was about to call you Laura Lee again. Lorelei leads off with level 52 Dugong. So, I'm going to actually go for Thunder, hoping to take this guy out with one Thunder. So let's see if we miss. Good, we do not miss. Thunder hits Dugong. Shouldn't be taking that. Sparkwalk has crazy special, uh, special attack as well as speed. But speed doesn't matter with damage. Dugong is down. So that is extremely good. Good job, Sparkplug. Uh, do you remember in our Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, if you guys saw that, we had Spark Plug through that, and now we have Spark Plug again, but always you can, <laughs> always you can see, he has, uh, she has a Cloyster, Cloyster has terrible special defense, so Shockwave should be able to take it out, well, are you just really going to waste my PP, are you really, I actually need that PP for this, because we don't have a lot of Aethers, but let's go for a Shockwave. Cloyster, please just go down. I'm pretty sure you'll go down. I know Shockwave isn't the strongest move, but your special defense is complete booty. So there you go. Cloyster goes down. This is good. So far, so good. I'm really scared about the Slowbro and especially the Lapras. The Jinx I'm thinking of actually using uh, Coin for because of Bite. But as you can see, Slowbro. Let's go for Thunder because I think Thunder needs to hit to take this guy out. Thunder connects. There you go, Spark Plug. Oh, Sparkplug's so good. Just not missing any thunders at all. You have your glasses on today, Sparkplug, and you take it out straight away. I don't know if a Shockwave would have taken it out, but that's just really good peace of mind to have. So, you're going to send out Lapras. I really need you to hit this thunder on this Lapras. I really do, Sparkplug. Level 54. Let's go for it. No, you missed, Sparkplug. Okay, what do you have? What do you have? Confuse Ray. Um, that isn't good. That isn't good. But I don't think you'll be able to take me out with any hit that you are going to do. And if you do, that is terrible, but let's go for the Thunder. Hopefully hit. Please, Spark Plug. Please, Spark Plug. No. Okay, well, we're going to be using a full restore after this. Please don't die. You took an Ice Beam from Articuno. I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah, you can take one from Lapras. Okay, so we have played out. We've, we've had our fair share of trying with Thunder. So I think it's about time that it pays off. So now the confusion is gone. Spark Plug is going to be taking an Ice Beam. Hopefully it doesn't do more than half. Yeah, that's good. That is very good. Let's go for a Thunder again. It does hit this time. There you go, Spark Plug. You know, one out of four isn't bad. Just as long as you take out this Lapras, I, it is all good. I completely forgive you. And, oh, it's a critical hit. I don't know if that mattered, but I know Lapras are extremely bulky. There you go, Spark Plug. That was amazing. Spark Plug. Oh, you were so good. And you were sending out Jinx. I'm pretty sure Jinx is your last Pokemon. Why don't we go out to Coin? Because Coin does have those Dark type moves, which are super effective against Jinx. To be fair, I don't know if it has any like stab moves or anything like that besides Ice Beam, but or Ice Punch or something like that. But let's go for the fake out since we do have fake out. That should do a lot considering Jinx doesn't have great defense. See, look at that damage. And now let's go for a bite. Hopefully this takes it out. I don't know if Coin's physical or special. But, ooh, it did not take it out. Okay, so, lovely kiss. Really? You put me to sleep? You put Coin to sleep? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? So, we do know Jinx is going to heal. I mean, it's quite obvious. So, do I have a uh, Awakening? Uh, yeah, I was about to say Antidote. I'm like, Antidote does not work for this. So, here we go. It's going to heal. Please just take... Well, I'm really hoping that we can flinch it on this next turn. Because Bite should be doing quite a bit of damage, considering, or at least more than half. It does not do more than half. What is this? Well, it did flinch, so I guess I can't be too mad. Let's go for Slash, hoping for that crit, or just to do more damage, since it is Stab. And yeah, why was I going for Bite to begin with? Why was I doing that? But anyway, Elite for Lorelei. That's it. I was going to call you Laura Lee again, but what am I doing? Things should have uh, shouldn't have been this way. Nick off five thousand four dollars for winning. We don't care about the money. We just want to win. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You've only got a taste of what the Pokemon League's power, about the Pokemon League, or something like that. But, we do need to heal up. I do have a lot of, I'm pretty sure it's fresh water. Fresh water, we have 19. We're going to use the fresh water to heal up, since we didn't take a lot of damage. We didn't take any on Persian or Coin. And the next one is going to be Bruno, one that I'm extremely scared about, especially that Machamp, because that Machamp has guts. And that means we can't burn it with Kurama, or anything like that. So... 
we're going to end the episode off here. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do that good stuff. really helps me out. If you want to leave any predictions of what you think is going to happen, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, especially with every single episode that goes along. So, I hope you guys did enjoy. Yeah, I've already said that part, but follow my Twitter if you have a link will be in the description below. And yeah, don't really have much else to say. This has been a Rodiad. I'm really nervous. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.